The Australia Day Long Weekend is a great opportunity for the community to come together to celebrate with family and friends. Police will be supporting the many activities which are occurring in regional and metropolitan areas over the long weekend and part of that will be with our four day traffic operation which will be part of our focus on public safety across the entire period. With most Australia Day events occurring on Saturday and the public holiday falling on the Monday and before the school year resumes, police are aware that many people will travel both interstate and within South Australia. And during that, that period of travel, there's obviously many opportunities for um, accidents to occur and we encourage people to drive safely. So that will be supported by our, by our Operation Safe Long Weekend, which will be a statewide operation aimed at deterring motorists from engaging in behaviour which, will cont which may contribute to fatalities or serious accidents. I ask pedestrians and drivers to make good decisions on this long weekend because as we know, those, those people that make poor decisions when they're on the roads often lead to terrible consequences which can lead to death or serious injuries. And the consequences will be with many of those people for the rest of their lives and will have a significant impact on their families and friends. Poor decisions often lead to fatalities, serious road injuries and drivers being apprehended for life-changing crimes. It's not only the issues that you deal with, with during, during the um, dealing with the fatalities and or the injuries, it's when people become apprehended for and arrested for very serious traffic offences which will, which will create issues for them for, for the rest of their lives. Our traffic operation will run in tandem with a highly visible response with a focus on community safety. In particular, police will be highly visible at all public events and will be working together to deter any antisocial behaviour. People need to be reminded that when you become affected by alcohol, you become a vulnerable person. And that vulnerability may mean that you will become a victim of a serious offence. And it's not only as a victim that causes an issue for yourself and the community. Often people who, to be quite frank, drink too much also become offenders. And instead of spending the weekend with their families and loved ones, they could spend the weekend in our custody. So we encourage people not to drink too much because they put themselves at risk. Police will be at all major events and will focus on crowd behaviour, licensed premises and those areas which provide that entry and exit into those licensed premises. A successful weekend to us will be for everyone to have an enjoyable long weekend and remain safe. There will be a range of public events which will take place across the state on Saturday, including the citizenship ceremonies, official community awards and a free concert at, and fireworks show at Elder Park in the CBD. Also in the Adelaide Central Business District, road closures will, con will commence at around 2.30pm with the community reminded to plan ahead and to use public transport if they are attending the parade. All roads are, to be, are expected to be open by midnight. And as usual, for the, um, the parade in the CBD, which, which commences around 6pm on the Saturday night, there will be around 3,500 people in the parade itself, around 50 vehicles in that parade, and we expect, like if it's anything like previous years, there's around 7,000 spectators of that parade. So we encourage everyone to actually go along to the parade, enjoy themselves, but be aware of their surroundings. Additionally, thousands of people will head towards the, um, the coast and, and, and specifically down, to, down south. And as a consequence of that, we have a declared public precinct which will be in place along the Aldenga Beach to Selix Beach area and that will be declared from 10am to 10pm on Saturday, Sunday 
and Monday. That declaration gives the police specific powers and all those powers are related around public safety. To assist people who may decide to travel to um, the southern beaches, both um, the signs on the Southern Expressway will indicate to motorists how full the beaches are at Moana and Selix. And I encourage people that um, if they are showing that they're full, that they, they, they do look at an alternative uh, location to attend. So please keep safe and have an enjoyable weekend this long weekend. Open for questions. Those beaches um, down south, have they been, I guess, trouble spots in the past in terms of produce? And There's been a whole lot of issues previously from people driving too fast along the beach, which is obviously puts a risk to the uh, people using the beach, especially young children who are running from where mum and dad may be sitting onto, the, onto the, where the water is, so that's a risk. Um, there's also been uh, people who have um, had behavioural issues where people have been drinking too much and fights have started and disorderly behaviour and those sorts of issues. So it's really about creating a, a place of um, public where they can have confidence and be reassured that this is a good place to actually enjoy their, their long weekend. So in, in that regard, um, the, the legislation has been very supportive for us to actually ensure that that occurs. So um, there has been problems in the past and as a consequence of that we are now, we've now applied for this uh, legislation to be used uh, down at those two beaches. I won't give you specific numbers, um, but there are um, extra police who have been provided to the CBD, especially on Saturday, um, due to um, the, uh, the march and the activities at Elder Park. There's also been extra police being provided to the Semaphore and Glenelg because of the, um, the activities which are occurring on, on Saturday. In, uh, more importantly, Semaphore than Glenelg, because Glenelg doesn't really have any planned activities after one o'clock, uh, but Semaphore has um, a number of activities during the day as well as a fireworks at 9.30pm on the Saturday. And there's also the Tunarama in Port Lincoln where there's extra police have been, uh, have been responding to, to that. So there's a number of different locations. The, um, it, all, it always makes it a little bit more difficult from a resourcing perspective on a long weekend such as this because it's really spread over three days. And you've got Australia Day, which is being celebrated on the Saturday, but the actual the event is over three days to some degree. So there's certain activities which are occurring on the Saturday, which we are obviously increasing resources to. And then we also need and to acknowledge that there will be activities which are occurring over the three days, which we also need to resource as well. And that's where you get into especially the traffic campaign, where we have designated traffic patrols um, in a number of different locations, which is mainly driven by where, where our fatalities are and being highly visible to actually look at um, the, the traffic policing aspect. And that will occur, as we all know, especially on the Friday night and on the Monday afternoon where people are either going to or returning from their intrastate travel or the interstate travel. Yeah, Well, there has been historically on, on occasions, but we're not, we, we, what we often find if we have the, um, the right number of police who are highly visible in those locations, that mitigates any issues. But I'm not going to say here, st stand here and say there'll be no trouble, but we often find that we're having the, the right number of resources in a highly visible way in these locations that, that um, reduces um, opportunities for any trouble. Are you aware of any protests that will be happening during any during marches? We, we have no intelligence at this stage to say there's going to be any, uh, any trouble uh, at the, in the march or near the march. So that's what, we're, um, that's what we're operationally, that's what we're looking to. But however, we have increased police resourcing around that to ensure that occurs. As of about three o'clock this afternoon when uh, I asked that question, there hasn't been anything that's occurred today in South Australia which is directly related to the heat. 
which is good. You know, we haven't had uh, animals locked in cars or children locked in cars or people in, have fallen down on, in, on roadways. And so we haven't had any of those sorts of issues, which we sometimes do. And, that, and that's a really good, good position to be in because obviously all of the messaging that has gone out before today has obviously taken place and people have taken, you know, done the right thing and taken on board those messages, so it's good. I'm sure that there's plenty of opportunities to drink lots of water, and um, you know it is, it is a tough gig. There's no doubt. I wouldn't. Um, you know, it's very difficult to be in in um, those areas that are directly in in the front on the front line and actually dealing with the heat of the day. But uh, we put another a whole lot of things in place to actually support them in doing that, and it's all part of their training and our, us our support of them. So no, there hasn't been any issues as yet. So thank you very much. Thank you.